One of the initiatives in our board, um, the Avon Maitland District School Board, is um, we're transitioning towards um, full inclusive classrooms. And so um, it was kind of um, a big initiative this year to hold the Avon Maitland District School Board uh, Choose an Inclusion uh, Symposium. It was um, a symposium that got students from all of our schools together and I also spoke, which was really neat. My speech was about um, Alex. I met him at Stratford Northwestern. Uh, he's in our special education classes and I met him in grade seven um, when he attacked me on my first day uh, with a giant bear hug. And I didn't know who he was and I didn't know why everyone in the lobby was staring at me. And it took me a few years to figure out that they were staring at me because Alex was different. You see, Alex rode a bus that was shorter than the normal student's bus. And while all of the other normal students bounced from class to class and teacher to teacher, Alex was stuck in the same classroom day after day. And it kind of seems like a punishment. Um, and so I wanted to talk about that to, to give people that real sense of what um, people in inclusive classes are going through. Um, and I think I really touched a few people at the, at the symposium and they kind of opened their eyes to um, not only the benefits of inclusive education, but the negative aspects of having children in enclosed classrooms. Why am I involved? Uh, well, I am a student trustee, so my responsibility is to be the voice of all the students in the Avon Maitland District School Board. And so those voices include the ones who aren't being included. So it's, as part of my job almost, it's my, I feel like it's my responsibility to, to step up and make this difference. But uh, not only is it part of my job, but it's something that I take very personally and something I'm very passionate about. This uh, symposium that we held really united us as students um, because I myself, I didn't speak to those in the special education classes because I'm not exposed to them as much as I am um, to all of the other students. We're all kind of molding together, which is I guess the first step of inclusion. Um, and just the little things like waving at the girl in the wheelchair or sitting with the boy who's alone at lunch, like it's little things that make a big difference. And I'm seeing that a lot more um, in our school because people are more educated about it and people know that it's the right thing to do.